Hello, I'm Sarah Thompson Copsey, and welcome to today's Legal Futures webinar Trespass, Nuisance, and Other Neighbour Disputes. Neighbour disputes are a source of incredible difficulty for both practicing lawyers, those involved in property generally, as well as for individuals and companies whose properties abut those of another, and indeed in this country, that's always going to be the case. The problem with neighbour disputes is that they engender such very, very strong feelings, particularly where you're talking about individuals, that it can be really, really hard to untangle the neighbour dispute. As the court said in this case, which is a dispute between a farmer and a neighbouring owner over the extent of the right of way, all disputes between neighbours arouse deep passions and entrenched positions are taken as the parties stand upon their rights, seemingly blissfully unaware or unconcerned that they are committing themselves to unremitting litigation, which will leave them bruised by the experience and very much the poorer win or lose. This was about a right of way of 100 metres in length and the costs at this point when the judgment is actually being given are for the appellant over £150,000. Win or lose, both parties are going to be bruised by the experience and very much the poorer. As we'll see at the end of today's session, mediation, some form of informal negotiation, is always going to be the way forward. And in today's session, we're going to be looking at some types of neighbour disputes so that when clients come and talk to you about the problems with their neighbours, you have an idea of which way the court is likely to jump and hopefully that will enable you to persuade your client to enter into negotiations with the, uh, the difficult neighbour, if I can call them that, or ultimately to enter into mediation. I know that it's not going to be easy. It never is easy, but the courts are increasingly concerned that matters shouldn't be before them but should in fact be before a mediator or some other form of alternative dispute resolution. So today we're going to be looking at privacy, at privacy around overlooking, privacy around noise. We're going to be looking at rights of way and use of neighbouring land. We're going to be looking at building words, possibly one of the biggest areas of dispute between neighbours. Uh, and I speak as somebody who lives in a property where all the gardens back on to each other and every summer somebody amongst those gardens that back onto each other is actually carrying out building rights. Um, we're going to be looking at losing land where neighbours really didn't fall out. We're going to be looking at restrictive covenants and then we're going to be looking at the end 